How fast do you drive? <laughs> <laughs> I I drive sometimes 100 miles an hour, but yeah, if if I don't see any cops. But I was going to ask you about that F1 because you know when I heard first about the F1 strategy, I was like, how, who thought of it? Like, how do you even come up with that idea of like, okay, well we're going to go do something as crazy or out there as like sponsoring F1. And it turns out it worked out really well for Atlassian, uh, but how do you even start with that kind of stuff? Yeah, so we wanted something that would spark our brand more broadly and get that message out more broadly, coupled with what we are releasing with our products and Robo and things like that. And so F1 really appealed because it's got this mass appeal, it's a growing sport. Uh, one is that, um, you know, I, I talk about world-class engineering, but if you think about the F1 drivers and what they do, it's really world-class. Like, you know, it's really inspiring to see how they train for the event and what they do. If you uh, see Drive to Survive on Netflix, I'm like in the middle of it. It's, it's an amazing, you know, inside look into F1 and so on. But really, you know, what these drivers do and, and the edge of what they work on is, is pretty amazing. And I, I think world-class engineering is sort of in that realm. So there was a connection there. And then the other connection is the team that goes behind the driver. You see the driver out there, but there's a whole team of people behind that works to get that moment. And our software, like our stock ticker is team, we really believe in the power of team and how you can get things done as a team. And so that really was a connection. And then last but not the least, a lot of the success in F1 is software. And so when we talk about our system of work and how it works, we want it to not just be a poster thing, but we want it to be actually, let's go and make you know, this team successful with our software.